Up next, Jacob Collins looks to get revenge on Jason Storm after the hell that Storm and CJ Black have been putting him through since day one. Jacob Collins has yet to pick up his first win here in RBW. Does he have that fire now? Does he have that passion? Does he have what it takes to finally reach his goal? After Jason Storm sandwiched his head and neck between two chairs, the doctors advised Jacob Collins to take some time off. Even when he tried to, Storm and Black wouldn't let him walk away easy. They tried to end his career. Jacob Collins came back at the best possible time, unless you're CJ Black. He caught Storm and Black out of their element and helped JX even the odds and pick up the quickest title win in ROW history. Let's kick this off. Jason Storm attacking Jacob Collins before the ref even had a chance to ring the bell, just like he did to see money. But Jacob Collins able to reverse momentum here, switch things around, chopping Jason Storm, but Storm blocks it. And cuts off Jacob Collins in the midsection and drops him with the DDT. And this could be over now. That was a hard landing. Face first. Jacob Collins, unfortunately for him, Jason Storm wants to keep inflicting damage instead of trying to end this match. And that's the kind of match I think we're in for. As Storm hits a mag eight and down goes Collins. One, two, and Jacob Collins is not going to lay there and die. If Jason Storm wants this win, he's gonna make him earn it. Now you'll recall, like we've been saying, Jacob Collins has not had his first win here in RWW, but tonight he's hoping to turn things around. And not a good start there as he takes a suplex and looks like he might have tweaked his injured neck. How is it? And Jason Storm realizing that you've got to be careful showing your opponent your weaknesses like that. That's something you'll learn as you keep going in this wonderful sport. But someone like Jason Storm with the attitude he currently has, do not show him your weakness. That goes for anybody. Looks like Jason Storm setting up Jacob Collins for something. Is running drop kick catching Jacob Collins in the midsection, mocking him along the way. Things not looking good here for Jacob Collins early. Uh -oh. And he throws Collins into the post. Nothing but steel he just tasted. Storm bickering with the ref. He's trying to get control of this match. And Storm rolls in the ring to break the count. Poor Jacob Collins, you can see the neck problems bothering him already, and Storm back on it. Not cool, man. Not cool at all. Jacob Collins, I'm rooting for you, brother. Can't stand seeing Jason Storm taking advantage of things like that. I saw Jason Storm do that to see money, too. He's got that new meat kick he does. In the ropes. It's a leg drop driving Jacob Collins' face down to the mat. Collins might be out. Storm wisely pulling him away from the ropes. There's no rope break. One, two, and Jacob Collins able to kick out a two. Three. 
That was a pretty obvious two count. Jason Storm, you need to calm your ass down. Stop acting like CJ Black. Can't stand it. Jacob Collins not able to get out of the way in time as he just eats that big boot from Storm. And now he's going to take the boots straight to the heart. I don't think Jacob Collins has been able to really get any offense ever since Jason Storm attacked him right before the bell. He got those couple chops in, but ever since it's been Jason Storm. And Jacob Collins, if you want to get your first win, this is not a good way to do it. As it is all Jason Storm right now. Storm with a headbutt. Two headbutts. Make it three. And Collins is dazed. And a hell of a knife edge chop. Exploding the blood vessels in the chest of Jacob Collins. And it looks like Jacob Collins tried to do a move of his own there. And instead got caught with an elbow of Jason Storm. Maybe too little, too late. It's Storm with a splash and a two count of three. No, just a two. I think we saw Jacob Collins try to fight back there, but unfortunately for him, Jason Storm was fully aware of what was going on. And down he went. Jason Storm letting the referee know that's clean. I don't really agree with that. Rubbing your opponent's face into the mat like a dog. I, I don't think so. What's he doing? Now? He's trying to choke out Jacob Collins, wrapping his arm around the injured neck as well. And Collins not close to the rope. He needs to figure out what to do here, or he's going to have to tap or pass out. And Collins breaking the grip of Jason Storm and wisely trying to crawl away. There you go. Get away from that psycho. And Jacob Collins still in some serious pain, clearly trying to figure out what's next for him as he's been now the receiving end of all Jason Storm's offense thus far in this match. <clears throat> Looks like he's waiting for Jason Storm to get to his feet. And he hits a corner clothesline, boots Jason Storm in the midsection, drops him for a DDT, and down goes Storm. That's the most offense we've seen from Jacob Collins yet. But still holding the neck. Might have got a little whiplash there from the DDT. Because now he looks like a big smack to the back of Jason Storm's head. And stomping his leg. Slamming it into the ground. You were like a brother to me! Jacob Collins getting a little... You affected my career! Yeah, that's exactly right. He's getting a little ruthless here, which he has to do against Jason Storm. And it looks like Jacob Collins' new game plan here is to take out the legs of Jason Storm so he can't stand. You have to do what you have to do, my friend, to get that victory. And I'm not mad about it at this point. With Jason Storm, the way he's been acting, he deserves every bit of it. Collins setting up Storm. Splashes that leg, and that could have been deadly if you're Jason Storm. Collins going for a pin, hooks a leg too. Just the two count. Wisely tried stealing one there. I can't believe I'm saying this after what's been happening in this match, but Jacob Collins on the offense. Until now, Jason Storm with a spine buster, and down goes Collins again. I think I just jinxed him. I apologize, Jacob. Please forgive me. I promise I'm rooting for you. I can't stand Storm. I can't stand CJ Black. And I would really like to see you get your first win here tonight. Yeah. Storm hitting that running senton. Looks like he crushed Jacob Collins. One, two. No, Collins still alive in this match. Looks like he took all the air out of him, but he was able to kick out. Poor guy. Looks like he's sitting there gasping for air. But Storm might have the end in sight here. As he's kneeing Jacob Collins and injured neck back to it. And you can see Jacob Collins feeling that pain. Oh, look at the aggression he picks him up with. Even on the injured neck, he gives zero Fs. Not going to swear there. Into the turnbuckle goes Jacob Collins. Nice and storm. Setting him up for something of his own. And Jacob Collins wisely goes back to the legs and might have hyperextended that knee. Jason Storm might be. 
I think Storm might be giving up here. He might be in some serious trouble. Referee seeing if he's injured and if he can continue. And Jacob Collins just wants to get on him right now. Apparently Storm is going to continue this match. Doesn't want to give Jacob Collins his win. Come on. Jacob Collins. That was a hell of a move. Pulled that out of nowhere. Storm's back to his feet and Collins runs over. And Storm pulled the ref in front of him. And down goes the ref and Collins can't believe what he was did. And now he gets low blowed. And Storm caught all of that. Jacob Collins is down. Ref did not see it. His face is down. He's in pain. Poor guy's not an athlete. And Storm barely able to move around right now after Jacob Collins hit that beautiful counter. Oh, come on. In goes the chair. This is what started all this in the first place. Referee's down. Looks like Storm's going to try using a chair behind the referee's back. Jacob Collins, please get up, get out of the ring. Maybe even grab the chair and whack him with it. He deserves it, we all know that. Thankfully, Storm barely able to move. Buying Jacob Collins some time to get up and get away. And he did not get away. Jacob Collins getting hit in the back with all of Jason Storm's might with that chair. I think that and Storm has Jacob Collins down and out. Referee's starting to move around a little bit. Storm going for a pin. Ref's crawling over. One, two, three. No, Jacob Collins had enough time to kick out, and Storm cannot believe it. The look on his face tells the story better than I could. The heart of Jacob Collins to make it through that and keep himself in this match. That is exactly what I've been waiting to see from Jacob Collins. And it looks like Storm, a little irritated with the result there. Lines him up, going for a tornado lariat. Collins ducks it into the ropes and clotheslines Jason Storm and down he goes. Jacob Collins playing a little bit of possum there. What's he doing? He's got a fire lit on his ass and down goes Storm head first into the mat. Collins with the pin. One, two, three. Jacob Collins picks up his first win in ROEW. He is ecstatic right now. He can't believe it, neither can I. Able to take He is out of this world with excitement. Able to take advantage of that situation and play possum. Catching Jason Storm off guard and getting your first win. Congratulations, kid. You've earned it. Celebrate. Enjoy your night. Hopefully this is the first of many.